okay i want to show you how to use the stretch goal uh, tab uh, in the pledge planner that uh, we saw in module one basically it's just a list that allows you to be organized uh, on the what column you just write what exactly is the stretch goal you're doing uh, with a small description if you don't have a specific name for it in included in uh, the column you just write if you have um, for example more than one box uh, for your game or more than one book you need to remember where this specific stretch goal goes because they might go in different places. Uh, only for the Kickstarter column uh, means that is this something that everyone will get even after the Kickstarter or it's something that is exclusive for the Kickstarter. I would recommend that you do not do too many things that are exclusive only for the Kickstarter, but you can have one or two. Just remember that you're not supposed to sell them afterwards. So uh, make sure that the production um can be done uh, in numbers that make sense for for what you're selling um, then the category uh, is this uh, um, a stretch goal that will happen both for physical and digital pledges uh, or as you can see in the menu is just for the digital is it for example is it just a pdf that you give to people no matter what they pledge for or is just physical is it like a uh, dice bag for example you cannot give that in a digital format so it needs to be physical or it's something else that I can come up with at the moment but I'm sure you have uh, something special that doesn't fit any of these categories so you can uh, pick from this menu and uh, uh, the color will change as well uh, also uh, this first part is about unlocking with the funding goal and the second part is about unlocking with uh, so some kind of social action um, the unlock condition the specific unlock condition here uh, especially for this first section uh, is supposed to be uh, the, the amount of fun funding that uh, will unlock that, that, that position. And then if you need to put some notes here, um, just to remember uh, to yourself what exactly happens in this case. I will show you like uh, down here, uh, for example, is where I put, uh, oh, if this post has um, 75 shares, then this will unlock. Or if 600 people join my Discord community, this will unlock. Um, just to give you an idea of how this looks once it's, uh, once it's completely uh, compiled, I will show you uh, how it looks for our previous campaign. It is slightly different. Uh, some stuff is in Italian, but you get the idea. And here it is. So uh, here we have exactly what is unlocking. Here we have where it is included. I have two columns here, one per product, but uh, in the template I just put one. You, you can just uh, write the name of, of um, where is it included. Uh, is this exclusive only for the Kickstarter? What kind of uh, uh, category it is? In, for one of them, I put abstract because it's a team bonus that everybody in the team gets a bit more salary if uh, uh, we reach that uh, funding goal. And here's the unlock condition. And it, when we go down, we can see that uh, I have uh, like this um, social stretch goals. Uh, unlock at different conditions like a number of backers, uh, numbers of shares. I, I did some changes during the campaign here and I didn't up update this, but you get an idea. And then at the bottom, I have um, also some uh, extra ideas, of, which is something that comes to my mind, um, but it's not included in the uh, table yet because I don't think it will happen, but it's something that uh, might um, come useful later when you're actually running out of all possible uh, stretch goals. So in your template, you will find this section here at the bottom. Uh, just write the quick notes of what could be a good idea and then you can try to integrate it inside the, the table a bit later. <laughs>